Hello, everyone. Welcome to this webinar hosted by Toradex entitled Leveraging SQL to Easily Build Smart Data Driven Connected IoT Devices. My name is Brandon Shibley. I'm a solutions architect at Toradex, and I'm joined by Sasson Montessari, founder of IDEA, and Ryan Phillips, software architect at IDEA. These gentlemen will be presenting the webinar today and educating us on the use of their embedded SQL database software. Thank you for joining us today. For those of you unfamiliar with Toradex, we specialize in embedded computing solutions, particularly ARM-based system on modules or SOMs. We have two families of SOMs within which the modules are pin compatible and interchangeable. We perform hardware and software development in-house. We generally guarantee 10 year product lifecycle support. We offer free technical support directly from our developers. Sales are also handled directly by Toradex and our products can be ordered right from our website. And finally, we have offices throughout the world allowing us to serve the needs of regional markets with local warehouses and local sales and technical support. And now allow me to introduce our partner, Idiom. Media specializes in data management software, and today we are going to get a look at their next generation embedded database technology, IDEA DB SQL Embedded. So without further ado, allow me to introduce Sasson and Ryan of IDEA. Hey, hello everybody. My name is uh, Sasson Montessiri, and uh, I am the founder and president at ETIA. And I have with me uh, ETIA DB SQL, Ryan Phillips with me. ETIA is a database company and our software is designed for manufacturers of embedded systems and devices to collect, manage, process and analyze data without any internet connection dependency. There are many systems including medical devices, industrial automation or systems built for automotive that cannot rely on a connection to continue operation. Particularly with the IoT revolution, these devices are empowered to collect, store, and analyze data such that they make decision. What is unique about ETIA is that we provide data management software development freedom that is typically reserved for enterprise databases. But it is shrunk down to use in embedded devices such as Toradex Colibri CUM. Our database is built on the well-known relational model and is flexible to adjust to IoT developers' needs. Now, ETI and Toradex are partnering and providing reliable hardware and database software development tools that will serve as an ideal foundation for embedded systems and Internet of Things products. During this webinar, we will share with you a real IoT application which utilizes ETIA database on Toradex platform. We will show you the software and hardware tools that you require for building device IoT applications. With this demonstration, you will witness the journey of data management from the sensors point of origin to the gateway devices for processing and making decisions, and eventually directing data to the private or public cloud. You will see that we offer developers to benefit from their existing SQL and database knowledge and build new products. In addition to standard flexibility, scalability, the lower development and costs associated saving with ETIA DBSQL and Toradex provides serious advantages that transform the value towards substantially reducing development cost and time. And we provide data management software, training, and quality technical support with a package which its integration with other components such as real-time operating systems, GUI file systems, and other components are already confirmed. Complex integration tasks can expose even the most carefully planned deployment to unforeseen risks, such as implementation and testing delays, system downtime, costly migration and upgrades, and inefficient system performance. We are here 
to prevent that for you. ETIDBSQL is a full feature robust data management technology that scales down to meet the constrained resource requirements of embedded systems. Products built with our database are fast and scalable and run on modern operating systems such as Windows, Linux, Integrity, QNX, Tredex, Nucleus, Micrium's UCOS2 and UCOS3, and VxWorks. Even with a custom file system and without an operating system, ETIDBSQL is cross-platform and applications embedded with it run on ARM, MIPS, PowerPC, x86, these platforms. Now let's find out how we empower you to embed ETIDBSQL on Toradex platforms and build applications that will leave your competition in dust. When an innovative new technology becomes available, decision-making always start, starts out centralized. But as the technology matures and becomes miniaturized, a distributed approach always becomes the dominant paradigm. We saw this originally with mainframes, access to DOM terminals, giving way to mini computers and eventually personal computers. This pattern repeated again with the rise of the World Wide Web, where decision making was initially relegated to web servers and backend databases. Since then, web browsers have become much more than a simple content rendering interface, and web services have enabled apps to become the killer features of any mobile device. That's right. And now we have an opportunity to put intelligent sensors wherever we want, creating what's known as the Internet of Things that are able to collect and communicate data gathered from all over the world. So as is typical, our first approach is to create a centralized cloud services model to monitor each of these sensors and make decisions and take action in a centralized way. And this approach works very well when you have one or a few devices in a given place, such as a home or a business, but the real innovation will come at the next level when we have dozens or hundreds or even thousands of these individual devices all trying to communicate from one location at once. What we're going to need is intelligent devices on these edge networks that are able to coordinate and process the inputs that uh, originate there and that are themselves able to make decisions without relying entirely on central services, but still able to communicate when necessary. But we will face many challenges as we develop these edge devices. How much responsibility is given to each sensor node, and how much do we depend on intelligent gateway devices to manage data and make decisions? That will depend on each market and the domain-specific problems that need to be solved. But there are a number of risks that come up anytime you need to store and manage large volume of data. Performance is always an important factor, most visible in how it affects the responsiveness of a device. It is important to design software that can scale as data accumulates to offer consistent performance even after years of continuous operation and collection of massive data. Designing software that can work efficiently in the background, continuing to collect data, even as it makes decisions that they take into account its full history, makes for a very responsive experience. But it doesn't matter how fast your devices are if they aren't available when you need them or if they are unable to communicate the data accordingly a device needs to be reliable enough to protect the data even if it ends up losing power or needs to be reset suddenly. So important data needs to be saved redundantly on these devices, either on extra storage media or by replicating it to other devices and 
backend services. For this reason, having a well-defined data model that is compatible with those backend systems and other devices is extremely valuable. So when sensor devices are used to collect private information, it's also important to protect that data from unauthorized access and tampering. Having many of these different devices connected directly to the cloud presents a huge attack surface which can be mitigated by channeling the data through a secure gateway device. The bottom line is that you need to bring these devices to market quickly to position yourself and your company as an innovator. And for that reason, having an off-the-shelf standard solution that already offers the customizations that you need uh, is going to be the key to success regardless of which IoT market you're developing products for. You need to have a stable platform that will allow you to deploy quickly, but still upgrade hardware and software to keep up with new innovations. At ETL, we have taken decades of experience with enterprise database systems and brought it out to the most important functionality for managing data and making decisions directly on edge network devices. ETIDB SQL brings the power of SQL, relational data modeling, and transactions that many developers are already familiar with to ARM Cortex-A and Cortex-M devices. Optimized for indexed logging, ETIDB SQL is ideal for collecting sensor data and device information, then reporting on time, data source, and any other attribute SQL queries make it easy to correlate related information and search for patterns across multiple tables. Whether deployed with a multitasking RTOS or a general purpose operating system, database files can be shared across tasks with read and write operations happening simultaneously. Now, the relational model that these database technologies are built on makes it easy to design and communicate structured records leveraging standard numeric text and time-based data types. And because all access to the data is managed through transactions, you always know that the data will be restored to a consistent state that your application controls after recovering from a power failure, for example. You also have high availability through database technologies such as peer-to-peer -peer replication and backend sy synchronization that are built right into the database technology. So the application just needs to specify its own unique attributes and policies. Uh, our product, ETDB SQL, supports your application to safeguard data and provide security protocols to ensure data privacy as well as data security. Of course, any external communication with the database supports TLS encryption to protect information from eavesdropping and remote tampering. And even when data is at rest on a, a removable media plugged into the device, ETDB SQL can efficiently keep the database encrypted with a key that only provides access to the device application itself. So all of this functionality is accessible through easy to use programming interfaces for C and C++ applications, as well as scripting languages such as Python and even virtual machines such as Java. So not only application development, but also administration of the database is handled entirely through application interfaces. And using standard SQL statements enables the developers to quickly devise robust queries that can scale as the data grows. And then when it comes time to upgrade your firmware with new functionality, you can introduce new tables and columns into the existing database files as needed. As an example, let's look at an automotive market where electric vehicles are revolutionizing transportation across the globe. With this demonstration, we selected a driverless solar electric vehicle prototype 
which its sensors collect large volume of data for the edge gateway devices on Toradex platform and eventually process, analyze, and communicate the meaningful part of this massive data, which we call information to the cloud. So a modern electric vehicle produces a continuous stream of data, which is currently simply logged in the vehicle for a few days at a time, and and when it needs to be shared with the manufacturer of the vehicles, the entire log file has to be transmitted or copied in some way. But you have a vehicle that needs to be able to operate autonomously, which makes live diagnostics a really valuable pursuit to follow on computers on the vehicle itself. So especially with the introduction of solar power as a means of charging the batteries on these vehicles, it's going to be really important to have ways of analyzing that local data to, to maximize energy efficiency and minimize the costs of charging from the power grid. So there's also an opportunity to detect potentially imminent failure of various vehicle components, such as the battery, uh, with hundreds of temperature and voltage sensors on each of these battery packs, it's possible to recognize hotspots that might uh, ultimately cause damage. And so if you, but only if you can find a way to spot irregularities and patterns in the data that's being collected. So by processing that data locally on the vehicle itself and communicating uh, insight, gathered from that to the manufacturer, rather than uh, uh, only showing the manufacturer what there's bandwidth to send, um, you have access to just a lot more information that may allow you to uh, avert possible disasters. So for this demonstration, we've developed a prototype onboard computer to function as a data gateway collecting data from various sensors in the background while making decisions and presenting information at the same time. So this demonstration, as you saw in the video, is running on a Toradex Calibri iMX7 computer on a module, which has more than enough processing power to run this demonstration. Uh, however, in order to give you a clear picture of some of the functionality in this demonstration, I'm going to show another version of the same demonstration running on a uh, on my desktop. Um, so first we can look at the charge rate information that's being collected by this vehicle. Uh, this information is collected over time and the database allows us to look at it over different time intervals. So for example we have, if we imagine that this vehicle is being driven currently, we'll have uh, energy coming in periodically from regenerative braking events, um, which recapture energy from the brakes. But if we look back even further through our time interval going back an hour, or even looking at last 24 hours, uh, we can see that there, the vehicle was charged overnight, probably by plugging it into the home, and also there was some solar charging on the previous day um, as it was left outside. And so having all of this information in a database allows us to dynamically look at the uh, data across various time periods and immediately look for patterns both in the short term and in the long term. Uh, using a single database schema. And so using information like this, you can even extrapolate to predict the vehicle's range um, by taking into account the amount of solar charging that we can expect during the current trip, um, or even looking back on data over um, a full year and taking into account things like the season and what kind of uh, patterns are expected from that. Now we can also look at how that energy is used where we have uh, various systems that the power is distributed to such as the motors that move the vehicle, 
the lights and environmental controls and entertainment systems like the radio. And with a SQL query, it's really easy to see how each of these contributions fits into the overall energy consumption by filtering the data on different attributes. So analyzing this information on the vehicle itself can really help the driver by encouraging energy saving behaviors and more accurately predicting range based on how the vehicle is currently being operated. Uh, more importantly though, the device can also be used to look for patterns in the data that may help to identify critical situations. So for example, by measuring the temperature of the vehicle's battery in uh, hundreds of different locations across the battery, you could search for hot spots. And using standard statistical analysis, such as looking at an average as, as this curve that you see, um, or the standard deviation, you can start to uh, identify when a particular group of battery cells needs further scrutiny to see if there might be a problem coming up. So having the full history for all of these outliers allows you to condense that down and just pick out the important data points to be communicated back to the manufacturer and determine if preventative maintenance is necessary on this vehicle. So to actually communicate that insight, the database actually provides a secure channel that can both transmit locally modified records and also receive data such as calibration updates from the vehicle manufacturer. And so using replication logging provided by the database ensures that if you have multiple opportunities to communicate to the back end, the same record is not duplicated and sent to the back end more than once. And so that both helps to take advantage of what may be limited bandwidth and also allows the database to identify possible data conflicts where a record that exists both on the vehicle computer and also in a backend system could potentially be modified in both places independently and the database will help to recognize and reconcile uh, those kind of events and data conflicts. So <clears throat> after that data is uh, shared to the back end, it can be accessed outside the vehicle through a cloud dashboard. Not only this vehicle, but all the combined data for the manufacturer's entire population of electric vehicles can be accessed over the web. And this makes it possible to do a global analysis and reporting by looking at the energy usage patterns, part failure rates, and helping to understand the mileage and optimal range of each model of vehicle that uh, the um, manufacturer sells. So for example, if we look at the energy consumption data that would be collected from vehicles across the country, uh, assuming that they have this prototype device installed in each of them, we can compare the energy usage patterns in different geographical regions and also consider other factors such as uh, seasonal variations by adjusting the time interval over which the data is analyzed. And so this allows us to uh, really recognize uh, trends, and see how things like climate can affect heating and cooling costs and how the different seasons can affect the cost of operating the vehicle's lights or even look at the kind of driving patterns that people have based on the time of day that the vehicle is being operated. With this solar powered vehicle and demonstration, we have showed you the um, uh, importance of the data management as it relates to the interoperability, maintainability, and security and mobility for empowering IoT devices to make decisions. So developing this data-driven software for such a device is really a straightforward, well-defined process that begins with defining a data model. 
and that is often represented by an entity relationship diagram and the data model establishes a structure for information stored locally on the device. This translates directly into tables that are created automatically the first time the device is used. The application software uses SQL statements to query the database, to filter results, and to combine the tables with join operations. And these are all standard concepts that should be familiar to anyone who has worked with a relational database before. And also, developers who are new to SQL can also find many resources and materials to bring them up to speed. So if you're interested to try out this demonstration for yourself, you can visit ittia.com slash platform slash Tordex, and we will also offer free training relating to data management to those who visit ittia.com and share their feedback about this webinar within the next five hours. Performance is also very important for device data management. While every application has unique requirements in how data is stored and accessed, throughput and latency are the best way to measure and quantify the impact of database operations. When logging data into a database, it's important to minimize the overall throughput so that the device can always keep up with new information coming in from sensors and other sources. When retrieving records and minimizing latency, it's often most important so that the device is responsive. In ETIDB SQL, tables and indexes are carefully balanced so that continuous updates will produce a consistent throughput even as the amount of data stored on flash media grows, while search and other read operations are guaranteed to complete with a limited number of copies into memory from the flash media. ETIDB SQL um, offers application developers a complete data management solution by introducing capabilities to embedded devices that were once only available in enterprise databases. This allows developers to benefit from the great performance, rich features, and realistic cost for embedding a leading edge database in embedded applications. When mission critical database becomes unavailable, the entire system is put at risk. Support for high availability in ETIDB SQL maximizes the protection and availability of data. ETIDB SQL high Availability functionality includes ad hoc replication, synchronous replication on commit, cable snapshots, and distributed transactions. For example, uh, embedded applications use synchronous replication to distribute changes continuously, sending updates to other devices and backup storage media automatically. Application can also use ad hoc replication to exchange data synchronously. Once the application is configured, ETIDB SQL protects the application's work from component failure. Technical support for embedded systems is much more involved than in other fields of software. Database technology is complex and requires deep technical insight to use effectively. There will be times that you need in-depth familiarity and support for a feature in the database that cannot wait for public opinion to form and support for a feature in these things, it's really important. Therefore, if you need an answer immediately, it may cost more than you expected. ETR customers enjoy personal one-on-one -on -one technical support that goes beyond answering technical questions. ETR experts actively work to understand the specific requirements of such application and identify the most effective path to success. The main goal of ETIA is to provide a competitive total data management solution to customers so they can reduce costs when they embed it. We work closely, they work closely with our software developers and support team. This approach allows manufacturers of embedded systems and Internet of Things devices 
to focus on their application requirements while an expert handled any data management concern, building and maintaining database software is by no means a trivial task. And sooner or later, many manufacturers recognize that building and maintaining an in-house solution is an expensive, problematic choice. ETI DBSQL is designed to provide reliability and peace of mind maintenance with its highly related support, updates and upgrades. So when you select ETI DBSQL, you don't have to keep up with product updates and you are not ultimately responsible for the maintenance of the database. Instead, you can free up your time and gain competitive edge and focus on your field of expertise. ETI is looking beyond current functionality and knowing the future direction of the database library you select. And we provide assurance that you will be fine, you will be in good hands. Again, if you need, if you are interested to try out this demonstration for yourself, please visit ittia.com slash platforms slash Toradex and we will also provide you free database management training for those who visit ittia.com slash platforms slash Toradex and share their feedback about this webinar within the next five hours. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, guys. And um, let everybody know that they can ask questions in the GoToWebinar questions chat here. Type your questions out. I'll take care of brokering those questions and reading them aloud and allowing the guys here for media to answer your questions. And again, I wanna thank uh, Sasan and uh, Ryan for their uh, participation here. And uh, apologize again to Ryan for uh, jumping in a bit too early earlier there. So. I really like the demo you guys showed. I think it's a really cool demonstration of the capability that this database technology offers um, in conjunction with Toradex modules. So let's uh, move right into questions. And again, if you have questions, please type them into the question dialogue here as part of GoToWebinar. First question, uh, you mentioned that the there was some training available at the EDA website available for the next five hours. And as part of that, is it possible to uh, obtain a, a copy of the demo or evaluation software? Yes, when you visit our website within the next five hours, we'll provide you with this demonstration as well as we will train you for uh, database management. Uh, you saw the journey from the data going from the device to the cloud, so you'll be familiar with that. And also you will be uh, supported when you evaluate uh, uh, ETI DB SQL. Okay. Can you uh, describe what integration of the EDS software is like on, on, for example, the Linux image for Toradex? Yeah, I can feel that. Um, so basically, the database is primarily a library that is incorporated into an application that you develop. And so creating a database, provisioning it, and interacting with it is all handled through C or C++ API calls. And so the only thing that needs to be added to the image is a shared library and your application. Um, however, we do also provide uh, command line tools for opening and interacting with the database as well as a lightweight server that can run on the board and accept both local and remote client connections. And uh, those can be deployed to the board uh, if you want to use them there. And they can also be left out if that functionality is not needed in the, the final product. Okay, excellent. And there was a question if this presentation would be available later after the webinar, and that is correct. A, a recording of this webinar will be provided at um, toradex.com slash webinars, as well as at YouTube. That usually takes just a few days for us to provide that, but keep your eye out. And of course, you can also check out toradex.com slash webinars for um, previous archived webinars. So the next question, has this database been used on medical devices and has the software been certified to meet IEC 62304 standard? 
Yes, uh, we have uh, customers in the medical device sectors, and uh, as a database, uh, we have certain guidelines that uh, we can share with you when you contact us directly, and uh, uh, component like ours, uh, as you know, it's considered as SOAP, and uh, we have been utilized and work with uh, customers in that market. Okay, and um, are you able to comment on how the features of the database compare to other databases such as uh, SQLite? Yes, so the um, main differentiation we have is that we offer um, a complete solution for data management including both the basic creation of database files but also client server access, replication, and multiple different table types and concurrency models to allow different application requirements to really be served most efficiently by the database. We also ensure that the database schema is strictly adhered to by the application. So if you do have different components that are sharing access to the database, it offers an additional level of protection over something like uh, SQLite that's really intended to be accessed entirely through a single application and therefore is able to relax some of those protections that uh, databases is, is typically expected to provide. Generally performance, uh, uh, important features such as support for security and high availability and uh, direct interaction with technical support, it's uh, the main reason that you know customers are uh, more and more coming to us from SQLite. Okay, and can you speak to the um, licensing terms under which this uh, software is available under? Yes, uh, we do have uh, two different tiers of licensing. Uh, one is the development license, and the next is the distribution license. Of course, uh, you know, uh, manufacturers and developers have different requirements, and uh, in order to provide specific uh, answer, you know, you can contact us at uh, sales at ittia.com and uh, we'll provide uh, an exact answer that uh, it's uh, meeting your exact requirements. Okay, great. And I think we're running out of questions here. If you have any other questions, you can um, feel free to contact EDIA directly. Also, be sure to check out that link on their website to get the additional information about the uh, integration with Toradex modules and the training. And again, I want to thank you guys for giving this webinar today. And again, look out for this recorded webinar future at uh, toradex.com slash webinars, as well as on YouTube, Toradex channel there. And I also want to encourage you to keep a lookout for our future webinars as well. And again, big thanks to you guys. And I'll let you guys have the final comment as we uh, go today. Thank you very much, everybody. And uh, again, uh, we uh, are going to uh, provide uh, this uh, demonstration as well as uh, the webinar that uh, the webinar content and the training that we promised uh, by uh, for you by just visiting uh, ittia.com/platforms/toradex. And uh, wish you all a pleasant day and evening. Uh, and thank you for uh, attending this webinar.